What's poppin', y'all? This is Deidre with One Shot Game. You already know what time it is and how the motto go. You get one shot at life, but a lifetime to learn all the game you need to better improve your quality of life. Because at the end of the day, I don't believe it's one person who can actually sit and make me believe that, you know what I'm saying, they don't have areas where they can improve or they don't have mistakes that they could have made that people made them feel like they couldn't make those mistakes. So a lot of the time they put, you know, the pity on themselves. They feel guilty about who they are. You know what I'm saying? I think everybody in life experienced that in some form of another until you understand that you are you and life is life and it's complex like that. You know what I'm saying? So before I get into the topic of my video, I just want to say big, big, big shout out to all my supporters. You guys are great. I love, you know what I'm saying, the people that give me the feedback. Let me know, you know what I'm saying, uh, how my content is relevant to certain normal situations. That gives me a little extra push to go in. But at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying, I go in because I truly want to see the greater good of the world so whether people support me or not doesn't really matter to me i support myself and anybody who is you know what i'm saying taking this information and applying it or you know listening hey that's what it is too so anyway the topic of this video is going to be on how loving yourself is important and like it's it's a deep sense of knowing who you are that will help you not succumb to this world and the traps that are set out by people who know that they know there are people out there in the world who don't know how to truly love themselves so it's easier to control them the world itself is based off a system of control every system put in place everything into this world is set out there and designed by someone with high intelligence of knowing that they know their self and there's people out there who don't know their selves so if i put out a system that is easily conformed by people who don't love themselves and they will be put into this systematic bucket i win they lose and it, it's man this life is so complex and so crazy big 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 shout out to any mother that has multiple kids i had to give you guys a hands down you know salute to all the queens before me without you guys i would not be who i am i have no ill will no bad vibes towards any queen or king out there who you know what i'm saying knows the importance of knowing who you are and even if you don't that's okay too because we're all learning and sometimes before people even reach the point of knowing who they truly are it is so much soul searching so much identifying that sometimes they don't make it to that point before you know, they're not existent. So I have to give grace to all the people before me. Like to be able to love one's true self, you cannot let your ego judge other people for the hurt that you experience in life. Because what happens is if you let that control you, it will determine how you treat relationships formed after the initial hurt and listen this is a process that everyone has to go through and everybody doesn't quite um truly love themselves at the same time it takes growth it takes experience it takes going through things it takes understanding you know the mistakes and the things that you don't like in your life to ultimately turn it around to see fit how you want it to fit. And even if you didn't get the results that you wanted, you kept going and persevering because every day is a new day to change what you don't see fit for yourself. But 
to know oneself means you had the power to create the life that you want and deserve for yourself instead of letting someone that has the the understanding and the full power to love themselves to be able to control you it is set up in a whole wide range of systems you have to understand that i don't care what family you born into i don't care the type of friends you have i don't care the people you're around everyone at the end of the day has choices and and options that they choose to see fit for themselves in their life you know and if it could benefit them in some way but it's not going to benefit you they will do it i don't care who it is so you have to start to understand and be wise and know that your life is going to be formed either by the way you think and love yourself or it's going to be formed by others who have the power and control in themselves to know that they can control others maybe not in the best form shape or fashion but that's like the magic secret code that people i don't think even realize you know because a lot of people in life spend their time blaming their hurt and pain they experienced in life onto someone else because they didn't heal and make the right choices that they need for themselves to be able to excel in their own life. So because I feel guilty about who I am as a person, I am going to project that pain onto anyone that I can. And, you know, as, as a child, when you are born into any family, you are basically learning life. You know what I'm saying? And you expect to learn how to channel your emotions and figure out who you are from the adults that are raising you but sometimes i mean a lot of the times it's hard for you to learn from them when they're not even balanced you know what i'm saying so they could be having a bad day or going through something and take it out on you and it makes you feel less than you have to be able to you know what i'm saying go through life and 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 live life however you see fit for yourself as long as you're not hurting anyone or putting anyone in in damage you know you could basically live the life you want to live but it is a certain set of rules that you're going to have to follow and sometimes you might not even want to follow those rules you know but truly loving yourself is important and if you really think about it, it's not really taught in society. Society is basically teaching you how to put your mind in a certain mind frame category so that we can have it controlled by a certain action and a certain system that we see fit for the overall general public. You know what I'm saying? Sacramento is the capital of California. So you have to understand it is so many things going on in this city to basically control the human population instead of letting the human population know that you can control your life any way you see fit for yourself if you love yourself enough to know yourself and know that if you don't get a hold on yourself that there are people out there and systems designed to basically control your way of thinking to subject you to that certain person system and program fit for your life and that ultimately determines what you will be for that certain system so for example i <sighs> have been through a lot of things in my life but i'm to the point where i love myself enough to know that i can't blame anyone i don't now if i if i mention certain things that you do or did that hurt me i feel like there's nothing wrong with that but if you do it to the wrong person that's not healed inside themselves they'll completely act like they didn't do it completely you know what i'm saying feel like what they did was justifiable it was nothing wrong with it and as people, it is not a lot of us that 
openly express the things that harmed us or hurt us in some way. We're taught to hold that in, keep progressing, be strong, and keep moving forward no matter what. But I think that is one step in the process in helping you grow to become who you are. And when the time is right, it will present itself. If not, completely, you know, take your energy away from people that intend on misusing it for their own satisfaction, not because they truly care about what you think or how you feel, you know? So for me, being who I am, and I'm pretty sure it's a lot of other people out there, I truly believe spirituality is a big key component in life in helping a person identify and own who they are. Without that, you will just uh, mentally conform to fit a certain box. And a lot of people are going to object with how I feel because their mind is systematically programmed to fit the box that they have been conformed to. You know, and that's okay. I don't judge nobody and I don't really care. I'm going to put my content out because I, for the people that listen, okay. But really, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's kind of like, I want people to understand that it is, it is a system fit for yourself to help you get out of the emotional conforms you're stuck to and out of the mental box that you're in it's it's really complex it's hard it's kind of difficult for me to even project and say what i need to say because there's so many ins and outs to it that is is sometimes don't even make sense to me but at the end of the day i, I all i can do is be a walking example of the things that i speak you got to practice what you preach because it's hard for a person to listen to someone if they if they haven't went through the same things that they have. Like, for real. Or you're not standing on what you're trying to tell me. I've always been that way. Since a young kid, like, I'm not about to listen to you if you don't even do the things that you're telling me to do. I don't care who you are. I'm not listening. Practice what you preach. Stand on the things that you're preaching. You know what I'm saying? And subconsciously you have people who soak up information for you know different choices in their life and when they get to that point it'll give them an option on the choice that they should make you know what i'm saying so anyways back to what i was saying in society and in life you'll have a lot of people who will judge you for the choices and um, options or routes you choose to take in your own life only because they're been systematically programmed to think a certain way and they, they they try to get everybody to conform to that. If you're thinking outside the box, that's not okay because we're all doing this over here. So you have to be comfortable with understanding that this is a lonely process. It's probably a lonely process for a lot of y'all out there who have really, you know, followed your own way through life. You haven't really listened to the things that people try to put into your mind, you know, make you think you have to conform to this one way of living, which causes you extra stress or extra emotional pain because you're too busy trying to make other people happy. I'm not in that box anymore, but I used to be, and I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people who probably are still in that box. You know, I am the type of person, I'm not uh, nice but I'm kind, which means I treat everybody with the same respect that I want back because I have an understanding that this life is a journey. This life is a, 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 a journey of rights, wrongs, mistakes, power, strongness in each person. It takes you understanding who you are to be able to elevate. So I wouldn't put my pain onto anyone else. I wouldn't judge anyone else, but when I didn't truly understand who I was, I tend to think that some of the things I was experiencing in life was due to someone else. But as I grew, I realized they were only acting out of whatever, you know, ego, fear-based, conscious idea that they felt okay for them. 
they probably didn't mean to truly hurt you or maybe they did because they're trying to process how you're not you know emotionally conformed to the things that have put onto you and you still keep moving and exhaling forward like some people have a real hard time trying to understand how people go through so much betrayal and so much you know uh, manipulation and so much you know being snake that they're able to succeed and still prevail while if they were to go through the same situations they will crumble I don't know why that is. Some people are just stronger than others. That's just the way the world works. I'm not going to judge or put anyone down. You know what I'm saying? Because that's just the way the world is. So I don't judge anybody from their level of understanding. But if I feel like you disrespected me, I've told you you're doing something that's out of character towards me, I will completely stay away from you. And people with the mind frame of me, 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 me will automatically make you the victim in their story because they feel like they didn't do nothing wrong and you're just staying away from them and being mean to them for no reason and that's something i still have a hard time trying to understand because when you're a person who has been kind to people and 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 reciprocate the same type of energy that you want back and showing nothing but love and consideration to people and now they have a a, a hard time processing you staying away because you realize the things that they were doing to you or the way they was, you know, using you for their own gain was not okay. They made it seem as if you don't know what you're talking about. You in the wrong. When really it may be something that you need to work on, but you're not ready yet. And that's fine. So that's, but it's not my fault as well. And I'm willing to put anybody in that box. I will put you in that box if I see you are still in this phase of life where you are mad at yourself for how your life didn't become. That's not my fault or my problem. You know what I'm saying? And it's okay. I still love you. But I don't have to take that or tolerate it. You know? So for me, basically as a mother, um, and not even as a mother, but as someone who has wisdom and knowledge for my daughter. You know, a lot of people are not happy at the choices that... I'm making for my child and that's okay I really don't give a damn how people feel but I think it is a lot of us in this society that were raised by people who didn't love themselves so the idea of how we were supposed to love ourselves is non-existent and you have to be able to be taught that to be able to do it if you're not taught that how will you know it's not something that you know just just uh, washes over and you you know just know how to do it at one point but then again it is some people that go through life and experiences and they learn things that they don't want for themselves they change their behavior and they eventually boss up to be the person that they're destined to become you know i i don't want to get used abused and taken advantage of but the people who are so used to that they still think it's okay you know, so anyway, uh, I live in, in Sacramento, which is the capital of California. And in, in this current situation, like homeschooling your kid means them being connected to a school so that the school can send them books and, and packets that they can do at home. That's homeschooling. I uh, personally disagree. And, and, you know, there's rules to life, and I follow those rules. But at the same time, I think it's time for a new system to be put into play. My daughter is very, very intelligent. She knows how to read, write, do math, all that. But the part that was disrupting her from sitting in the desk and doing the work because that's the program that the school has set out, is the fact that she was emotionally off balance. So when you're a child and you're emotionally off balance at school, a lot of times they don't know how to handle that. So the first thing they try to do is send you to a psychiatrist, give you some pills, call the parents, see what they can do. You know what I'm saying? And, and a lot of parents are at work trying to keep a roof over the child's head. So it's hard for them to 
pop up at the school every five to ten minutes. So what happens is now they push that into the police and what's going on at home, and they make it seem as if the parents is doing something wrong. And then it turns into a whole situation that the, the mom has to fight, you know? And understood that a lot of the the pain that a child could be experiencing probably comes from, you know, somewhere in their vicinity. I'm not going to blame the parents at all. You know what I'm saying? Because it, a lot of us, a lot of the parents that have kids had to learn life too. So it's not their fault, you know? But for my daughter, the trajectory of her life, it was knocked off balance by me. And that was the fact that I was trying to get my life together or I was doing things that I see fit for myself. So for the first eight years, when I first left my first relationship, she was one. I was there going to works, you know, seeing her when she took her first steps, seeing her when she, you know what I'm saying, was was eating. I had her till about one and a half. Then I took her to my grandmother's house because I was falling off track emotionally in my life. I had just ended my relationship with my first love and I felt like that was everything. Again, like I'm saying, I didn't know myself. I didn't love myself. So when you don't love yourself, sometimes you make choices that's not in the best interest for nobody. It's just what you feel emotionally for yourself. And I'm pretty sure everybody can understand, you know? And my grandma pretty much, you know, operated her life out of fear of the things she experienced, you know? And I can't knock her for that because, again, I wasn't there. You know what I'm saying? Everybody has their own different level of understanding when it comes to life. So so, so, my daughter and uh, adjusting to life with me after I didn't came out of prison for three years, it was a little difficult for her. But, but the people in the school automatically don't know how to handle that or it's you know they they know spirituality but they're taught to take it to the psychiatrist who's going to give them medication who's going to you know what i'm saying get paid for trying to coach the kids on making better choices for their life and and you know the kid telling them everything about their life and all their experiences so they can try to control it for their own benefit when in reality, everything that a kid is experiencing and going through is because it's tied to their bloodline. So the best people to be able to help them understand who they are is their experience in life from their bloodline and then truly loving themselves. That's all it is. You know, I don't want my daughter to be completely reliant on me. You know, but as as her being a kid and me being her mom, I understand why that is, because as a child growing up, you're looking to the people you're around to be able to help you under better understand who you are, you know, but me spending extra time with her, I teach her like. You have to love yourself because if something is to happen to me tomorrow, God forbid, how strong are you going to be for yourself to be able to take on the world instead of letting the world take on you? That that wasn't something that was taught to me. You know what I'm saying? It was basically like, we're going to push these certain things on you. We're going to make you believe these certain things about yourself. It doesn't matter what you like. It doesn't matter what you want to do. You're going to do this. And if you don't do this, then I'm going to put you down and make you feel less than. And that's not truly accepting a person for who they are. I'm not saying as a mother, let your kid go drink syrup and smoke weed and get in the gang. I'm not saying that because it is your job to protect them. But if your child, for instance, my child is very uh, creative with drawing. This girl know how to draw better than me. You know what I'm saying? Very creative with it. Every picture she shows me, I'd be like, oh, that's cute. And I make her explain to me exactly what's going on in the picture. Why did she draw this? That helps a person really truly be who they are. Because I think the worst thing for anybody is for their child to get subjected into this cold world and manipulated by someone else who has stronger influence on them because they truly didn't love themselves.
is something that is not taught. You basically just had to go through life and hope you understand and experience it. But now I feel like we have a chance to become who we truly are, thanks to God, and be able to push that onto our kids. Because it's going to be times when they're not around you. It's going to be times where they're going to have to make choices without you. It's not force the choice you made when they when you face that situation they're going through. It's explaining to them the wisdom that came behind it. Hey, look, this is what happened when I made this choice. So whatever choice you decide to make, if you make this one, this is what's going to happen. I'm going to stand behind you. I'm going to be the type of mom that's going to be there for my daughter no matter what. It's going to be some things in life I'm extremely not okay with her doing. I have a right to be mad. I have a right to say what I need to say. But if you need to feel safe, I'm coming to get you. I'm on my way. Period. I do, you know what I'm saying? Because it's it's easy to not feel like it's okay to be who you are and step outside and let someone mind control that insecurity and now you end up doing all the things that they want you to do which may not be in your best interest you know what i'm saying so again like i always say don't let your kids glorify what they see on tv or the internet the people they should be glorifying is the ones before them it may not be a mom, it may not be a dad, it may be an auntie, a great auntie, someone that completely understands themselves and they and, and they have the knowledge of, you know, the family history, you know, and, and it may not even be anybody in the family. You may just have to observe from outside and, and have a deeper look on what is going on and figure out what you don't want for your life. You know what I'm saying? But that'll help you determine who you really are and to love yourself. Because in order for you to love someone else, you have to love yourself, period. Because loving yourself means you are 100% okay with everything that you are and you're letting someone else be 100% okay with who they are. You know, I'm, I'm a very uh, silent person. I don't really talk a lot, especially when I don't feel comfortable. But when I get a chance to know you and I get a chance to fill you out and I get a chance to peep game and see how you move, it gives me the green light to be able to feel comfortable enough to talk. You know, because you have to understand the world we live on, the moment someone doesn't love themselves and they see a person who is sensitive and will give in, they wait for them to completely tell them everything about their life and as soon as it's the right time for them to sink their claws in that's what they're gonna do and it may not be in oftentimes it's not in the best interest of you it's solely for them and their intent people's intentions when they meet people is hard to decipher if you go in making the loudest noise the loudest person in the room is the weakest, and that's facts, and that's game. Because they're basically putting on Front Street everything. While a person who doesn't have good intentions is just sitting back, waiting for the greatest opportunity to sink their claws in. It's dangerous. It's a big game, and everybody playing. You know? And I think it's very important for the world to understand and know that to love yourself is to completely be okay with your mistakes, your choices, no matter what anybody believes or says. Of course, you have people in your circle that, you know what I'm saying, don't want to see you hurt, don't want to see you hurt yourself, don't want to see you hurt others. Of course, it's natural for people to protect you. But also get an understanding and a feel for people that tell you things that other people might not. And it's the truth, and you know it's the truth. But if you act out of aggression because you are not used to people telling you the truth, you're used to having a bunch of minions that just go along with everything you say, even when it's wrong, you'll never grow like that. I had a hard time trying to listen to people that wanted the best interest for me. But I don't believe it's not one person that can tell you I ever acted out in, a, in aggression. I sat there 
I didn't say nothing. I probably walked off when the conversation was over because I heard you. And I'm not going to let you know because of, of my pride that what you're saying is true because at the time I felt like I was doing what I was doing was right. And everybody that was rolling with me didn't say nothing. But you have that one particular person that be like, hey, no, that ain't cool. And much respect. You know what I'm saying? I understand. I get it. But your life is ultimately yours. It's ultimately up to you to love yourself enough to make the best choices for yourself. But it's complex. Again, like I said, it's rules. A lot of times we're motivated by money, greed, status, getting people to love us and look at us for what we have instead of who we truly are. I'm um, a, a cancer, so I'm, a, I'm very sensitive to uh, certain things. And I'm pretty sure it's a lot of people that are, but they've been taught and told that it's not okay to experience those things. It's not okay to experience those feelings, be strong, get through whatever you're getting through and keep it pushing. So they really hide their true identity of who they are. And they're motivated by status and money. Listen, listen. If the whole world was to go broke today, I bet you everybody that you have around you wouldn't be around you. Because a lot of people, you know, are focused on certain things that people have. And that's the reason why they like them. That's the reason why they're around them. You know, I went from a type of family that's motivated off of money and status. And I get it. It's a part of life, but at the same time, it's not everything. And without that, they look at you as less than. But that helped me understand the difference between real and fake. There's people that are only around you because of what you have. They don't really care about you because now you didn't told them no or didn't give them something that they've always gotten from you. And they said some of the most angriest, aggressive things that you never thought they felt about you. But that's because they was playing the role because you was giving them something they could gain. Now that they can't gain anything off of you, they're going to tell you how they really feel. It's crazy. You know what I'm saying? And it's it's. A weird thing for the world but I'm I, listen I'm extremely blessed to have my one child but I don't want to bring any more kids into this world because it is it is not the safest <laughs> hopefully you know it, it changes because again it's been scientifically proven that a lot of babies born in these last recent years have special gifts and they can experience the world at a different range than how we were taught because everyone has special gifts, but growing up in the decade I grew up in and even the ones before, their stress and what they were going through, they put it on to the kids. And so the kids weren't able to go grow outside of the box they see fit for themselves because they were always put down and told that, you know, they can't think outside the natural realm. You know, like when I was growing up, I wanted to be an ice skater. Somebody told me there's no black ice skaters. Like, just hurt my little feelings, you know? And I and, and it, it taints your mind. So then you're like, all right, I'm trying to find validation. So I'm going to accept that. But I really want to be an ice skater for real. You know, you got to truly be authentic in who you are. It's a long process. And, and I hope that people, you know, understand from this video. Because I could take it six, seven, eight, nine, ten different ways. You know? But it's only... <laughs> so short I can keep it is basically understanding the balance of who you are like you got to be able to understand who you are you can be a person that you know does illegal things and keep going to jail but do you really want to be there I don't think nobody really want to be there but you start to think that's all you're worth so it's okay for you to go to jail instead of surviving out here you know, let people be themselves. I am not putting nothing on 
what I grew up in and what I learned onto my child. I am giving her the freedom to understand this is a safe space. You have every right to be who you are. But as your mother, I'm also going to tell you certain things that you did wrong from my experience and what happened when I did that wrong choice. Now, if that's something you choose to do, so be it. But it's my job to protect you and keep you from harm. So to think that you're just going to walk this life doing what you see fit for yourself with no experience. You don't have no experience in that because you're too young. You haven't even experienced that yet. So you may think that you're making the best choice and you're not. So I'm going to tell you, due to my experience, not me being better, not because I'm your mom, but due to my experience of being a human being and living this life, I can show you where what you're doing is not okay and what happens if you continue to keep doing that. You're only going to set yourself up for a trap for yourself. I think the worst thing to experience in life you know, yeah, you get hurt when people put you down and talk about you, but the most painful place to sit in is when you don't love yourself and you put yourself down for the mistakes you made and you keep holding that over your head and you think everything is your fault and you think everything that has happened in your life is because of you and you live with that and you sit in that for decades at a time. You ultimately, at the end of the day, is killing yourself. That's the worst misery to live in for anybody you know so the best thing to do is love yourself and grow stop trying to put your pain onto others and understand that what's happened in your life wasn't you know it was it was meant for you like like it may be hard for people to understand that but like it was it happened so that you can grow from it you can understand how to grow forward because there's things that are going to happen in people's life that stunt them. They don't know how to move forward. They don't know how to grow. They don't know how to believe that they are anything other than what they have settled for because they're still holding on to the weight of things that have happened in today's life. It's okay to be sad. It's okay to feel those feelings. But you have to understand that you only get one life. And if you sit in that turmoil for the rest of your days, you're going to kill yourself. That's the worst death in life, I believe, is to kill your own self by what you believe, perceive, and think of who you are. It's okay. We're going to make mistakes. It's okay. Certain things are going to happen. Don't hold the weight of other people's choices because everyone has choices. Wise words from my grandma. Wisdom is what it's about. Wisdom means the ability to, you know, understand that nothing in this life has happened for the first time but the people before you got some experience and some wisdom under their tail so maybe peep game you know and it may not even be from your mama or your daddy it could be from a close co-worker or somebody who's you know what i'm saying got some wisdom of what they talking about and you basically can understand a little road map to life you know, the happiest, successful people, couples in the world is people that have understood and know that they have made some choices that may not have been the best, but they were living life. And that's what life is about from your own perspective. Don't hurt nobody. Don't put your pain onto others because of the things you have experienced in your life. You know what I'm saying? That's the worst place to be, to think so less of yourself because of the choices and things you you had to go through you did it from the best you could from your understanding and how you perceive life to be until you truly understand who you are and and that's just the model that i'm teaching my daughter right now you know don't conform to a system because they automatically want you to fail so that they can they can take you and conform you to how they want you to be and, and the benefits they see for themselves out of that no truly be who you are and i'm giving you as your mom a safe space to be able to do that which means in turn i have to be able to set myself free from the change that was holding me back from being my true self i am my true self every day i don't lie i don't sugarcoat i tell her the truth i tell her this is what it is this is how it's gonna be you know what i'm saying so you can have an understanding that listen i don't have to lie and manipulate nobody i can stand in my truth and be who i am 
and, and still excel in life. Now, understand a person that's just learning that coming from a, a background of having to lie and manipulate because who they were weren't okay, they're going to give you some uh, slack. <laughs> they're going to give you a hard time. Yeah, they are. Because it's natural for them because they're trying to switch over to understanding because now they have a, 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 an example of how it's okay to be who they are and nobody will judge them or harm them. I have her in a safe space. It's okay for you to be safe, baby. I'm not going to hurt you or harm you or make you or put you down or make you feel less than. You're safe. And once a kid, adult, whatever is safe in the ability to be who they are, you will see them blossom into somebody great. But if they're learning it, it's going to be a, a brick wall up at first. And you're going to have to have the power to keep growing, keep sludge hermit and keep knocking it down if, if you love that person enough. And I love, I love hard. I wasn't always, you know, the best mother to her due to my own struggles, but I loved her. And, and I brought her into this world with the sole purpose of loving her to the best of my ability. I just had to heal the things that were holding me back. And once I got a grip on her, I vowed to not let those things harm her. So really, I don't care what anybody got to say about the way that I'm choosing to, you know what I'm saying, grow with my own child. I just think it's important for you guys to teach your kids spirituality because they're not teaching that in school. They basically have a system designed for them to manipulate and control other human souls if you let them grab them by the horns. Don't do it. You know what I'm saying? Keep the structure inside the family. Teach them wisdom. Let them understand and know that, you know, your genes and genetics are tied to, to this family, but at the same time, you got to grow and know your own self. I'm glad that I'm here to be able to teach her that because, unfortunately, I was the type of person I had to figure it out on my own. How to understand the choices and the things I was doing and how they didn't fit for my life. And if I wanted things to change, I had to be able to change those things I'm doing and, you know, fix them and make different choices. To be able to fit my life so that I could change it around without the proper guidance. No one is going to tell you, hey, make this choice, do this choice. It's just going to be basically set in front of you of what you can do. You can either be controlled by another person or you can control yourself. And I, when you learn how to control yourself, you can create the life you want for yourself without any stress, without any anger, without any baggage. You know, I'm, I'm just completely uh, set apart from the people that is not happy with their own lives. Because if you really sit down and think about it, you get to realize that I never did anything to anybody. You just upset at how your life turned out, and then you got someone who's not living in the in the regular norms of how the world should be, and so now you just have to contest that and argue and bark back, and you know what I'm saying. And I can't listen. Some people just be barking, 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 barking at you, and to, to try to put you down or make you adjust to what they see fit for your life. As long as they keep barking and nagging and, and, and talking about your insecurities, they have a, a, a thing of thinking that they can get you to conform to what they see fit for, for you. And that's when you got to stand in who you are and understand that everything you went through is how you turned into the person you are today. So those things, those insecurities that they're yelling out about you won't even hurt you at all because you'll know and understand who you are. So to give you the ability to keep going. Listen, it's a very complex way of life that is set out for the world these days. And if anything, I just want people to get to the real money, the real bag. It's not about your status. It's not about your money. It's not about what you have. That 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 is whatever you want it to be. It's about the real and the fake and the system they have set up for us. You can either be mind manipulated by the system or you can control your own mind. Which one you want to be? Man, you don't know what it is I just told you. Please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. It'll be very helpful.